week will be the NFL Draft for the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll see who their options are. Some of their options would like me to be after Rashid Rice got in trouble, maybe wide receiver. We'll see what happens with the Rashid Rice thing. And that thing, the Chiefs will definitely need to add probably two wide receivers. Another defensive tackle, a tight end would be a nice thing to see. I don't know if that's going to happen. A running back, a defensive tackle, maybe a defensive end, left tackle, safety cornerbacks always need to be added. That's what I'd like to see the Chiefs add. Also, the Royals got rained out yesterday and White Sox. Royals will play doubleheader at 110, starting with Brady Singer and Jonathan Kayon. The Royals want to stay paced. They can't lose a doubleheader in both games. Game two, the Royals and White Sox. After game one, TBD, TBD for pitchers. Cardinals and Athletics. Cardinals are out to 500. Athletics are 7-11. Cardinals won last night. Steven Martz will go for the Cardinals. And Paul Bachburn will go for the A's. For the Cubs and D-backs. The Cubs are 10-7. The D-backs are 9-9. Jordan Wicks will go for the Cubs. And Brandon Payoff will go for the Diamondbacks lost last night's game 12-11. We'll see how they do fair in today's game. That's baseball and football. And in the NBA tonight, it'll be a heat in the 76ers to play for the 7th and 8th speed in, in the NBA playing game. Watch out for Bam Adebayo and Joel Embiid who averages 34 points a game. The Hawks and Bulls, 9 versus 10. That means whoever play, wins this game will have to go play either Heat or Sixers, depending on who loses that. The winner of the Heat and Sixers gets an automatic bid into the seventh seed of the playoffs. Watch out for Trey Young and DeMar DeRozan for the Bulls. That's 30, 6 o'clock ESPN for both games. That's baseball. That's sports. Thank you and good afternoon. This is Sam Fellman for Sam Sports Report on Better and Mental Health Day. Change your brain. In this video, they will be talking about changing your brain and playing the same thing over and over. It's a song that plays over and over. If you think the past, you are already thinking in the past. Each of the emotions experiences past experiences. The way you perceive it is the way how creators creates things state of being. In other words, the way you create your character, it means... If you're thinking that way, it'll be in the past, will become your future. Something that happens yesterday and made you angry will make you stay angry. If you keep doing that for two days, then they're going to think you're in a bad mood. If you keep doing that for a week, then they're going to think you're in a bad mood. Anger becomes a part of who you are. If you're thinking in the past, problems. By the time you're all your emotions remembered, behavior Emotional reaction, unconscious, hardwood attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions. You want to be happy, but the body, I don't want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be free. Chris Jones. And say, I want to be these things. You've got to change them. How to make changes in your life. The analytic mind, the analytic mind, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind. Most people only change during a diagnosis, a crisis, or a disease. You, every time you can event or produce the same thing, events occur again. Your mind and body knows different 
that's happening right now. Most people reacting by their events, thinking about them. I really want to change the body and stronger in mind. The body hasn't spent negative emotions. The body has servant, but now becomes a master of body, will do anything this while it made starts thinking, let's go back to their old lives. The body is stopped from entertaining your unknown and is your best future. Come join the best future, your imagination, your life experience, the installing of your program of future life. Now your brain is no longer a record of the past. It's a map of the future. What happens next? Most people wake up in the morning and start to think about their problems. Those problems are connected to certain memories and those memories are connected to certain people and things. Your brain is like an old tape recorder that plays back to you the same cassette over and over every day. If your brain is the record of the past, then the moment you start your day, you are already thinking and living in the past. Each one of your memories has emotion and the emotions are the final product of past experiences. So the moment you recall the memories of your problems, all of a sudden you feel unhappy, you feel sad, you feel pain. How you think and how you feel creates your state of being. In other words, it creates your character. If your entire state of being when you start your day is in the past, it means your past sooner or later will become your future. For example, something that happened yesterday made you angry. Today you wake up and think about it and you feel angry again. Keep doing this for two days and people will think you are having a bad day. Keep doing it for one week and people will think you're in a bad mood. If you continue long enough, soon anger will become part of your character. You will be known as someone who is always angry. So as you can see, your thoughts have something to do with your destiny. This means if you keep thinking in the past, you're going to keep creating the same life. Without even realizing, you keep creating the same life that you don't even like. Here's how it usually happens. You wake up and grab your cell phone. You check your Instagram, check your WhatsApp, read a few emails or texts. Then you check the news and now you finally feel really connected to everything that's known in your life. After that, you go through a series of routine behaviors. You get out of bed on the same side, you go to the toilet, you get a cup of coffee in your favorite cup, you take a shower, you get dressed, and you take the same bus or drive to work the same way. Finally, you get to work and you see the same people that push the same emotional buttons. When the work is done, you hurry back home to do the same things all over again tomorrow. This becomes your routine, and routine works like a computer program, and now you have lost your free will to a program. It is no longer you who runs the show, but the subconscious program. 95% of who we are by the time we're 35 years old is a memorized set of behaviors, emotional reactions, unconscious habits, hardwired attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions that function like a program. So then you can say, with your 5% conscious mind, I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be free. But the body is run by a different program. You are putting the 5% conscious mind against the subconscious mind, which is 95%. This is like putting an average skinny guy against an Olympic level power lifter in a weightlifting competition. No wonder you can't make changes and end up going back to the old program and creating the same life. So then how do you begin to make changes? Well, you have to get beyond the analytical mind because what separates the conscious mind from the subconscious mind is the analytical mind. And that's where meditation comes in. Through the practice of meditation, you can learn how to change your brain waves and slow them down. And when you do that properly, you can enter the operating system where you can begin to make fundamental changes. Most people wait for a crisis, trauma, disease, or diagnosis in order to start changing. And this is Sam Vaughn for Sam's Sports Report and Sam's Mental Health Day.